Welcome to another tips and tricks video today, it's on W2K22. Now here are just some things you're going to want to do when you first boot the game. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to put difficulty above normal, otherwise it's just unrealistic. You're going to put, want to put weight detection on simulation. As you can see, I have it on arcade there, which isn't what you should do. It should be on simulation. And everything else should be how it, how it normally is. But turn tutorial tips off, because I will teach you the basics of the game in this video. You're going to want to put um, post-match replay on, that's like the replays at the end of the match. don't know why they're off by default, and obviously you're going to want to put blood on as well. Um, because blood's off by default, again. In the in the, um, in the the balancing settings here, you'll be able to see. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want, you're going to, want to increase the chance of running times. You're going to want to increase the referee downtime to be more realistic. Uh, you're going to also going to, you're also going to want to decrease the rollout frequency, you know, that annoying thing in previous WWE games where you roll out, that's back. As uncommon as it is, it is still annoying, so you're going to want to turn it all the way down. And you're also going to want to take, turn up the AI difficulty scaling if you want to challenge. And yeah, targeting indicators, this is important. Go down to manuals and turn all the manuals on. You won't be able to target your teammates, uh, managers, or referee. And these are all things that happen constantly in wrestling in real life. So I don't know why they're off either by default. So we're going to move on now to... Uh, yeah, turn commentary off. That's just another thing. But I turn it on here because I missed it a little bit. Because, <laughs> you know, I don't know. My match just felt a bit dead. So I decided to turn commentary back on. But you're going to want it off. It's really annoying. Really distracting. So yeah. I'm going to move on to some gameplay now. And I'm going to I'm going to basically tell you the basics. Okay, welcome. This is a this is a uh, this is a Raw 2011 arena with Sheamus versus Daniel Bryan. This Daniel Bryan is a calf, um, well, a car even. It's not a wrestler in the game. Uh, it is a created created wrestler. The Sheamus though is in the game. So here's one of the things you're going to want to um, consider. There's new combos in the game, and I'm about to, I'm about to teach this nice and slow so you can understand. There are three types of combos. There's light, heavy, and grapple combos. A grapple combo always ends in a circle button. A light combo always ends in a square. And a, a strong combo always ends in an X. You can combine these however you want. For example, square, square, X will be a heavy combo. Square, square, square will be a light combo. Square, square, X, circle will be a grapple combo. X, X, circle, grapple. Square, square, circle, grapple. X, X, square, light. You get the gist. If you don't understand that, uh, go back and rewatch what I just said while having the game up at the same time. You'll understand. There's a combo list for every superstar. They all have their own unique combos. So, yeah. That's the most complicated thing. The rest is simple. If you haven't played a WWE game before, 2K or SmackDown vs. Raw, whatever, what you got to know is, circle is a grapple. You press circle, you'll get him in a grapple position, he won't do anything. Then you have about a two second window to press X or square to do a, either a light grapple or a heavy grapple. Light grapples do less damage, obviously, and heavy grapples do more damage. Now I'm not gonna i I'm not gonna like teach you how to do like big moves off the top rope, that's for you to figure out because those are just like extra moves. They're not doing any more damage than other moves. So yeah. In the background here I've just got this match going so you can see examples. Alright. So right there, that was me grappling while he ran at me. That was just me pressing circle. Square, 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 X. I'll show you I might do a combo in a second, I don't remember. Boom, square, X, but you reversed it. You see what I'm saying? Reverse is triangle. You time it properly, um, you will just reverse the move. Simples. However, if it is a grapple, you need to do a breaker. Breakers are quite difficult to get your head around at first. Took me a couple of hours. So, to get your head around breakers, you, what you got to think is, when he's grappling, mate, he's only got two choices. Square and X. And then it's 50-50 chance from there. Once you've got the timing down, which is probably he grapples, then you have, and then like the one. Do you remember how I mentioned there's a two-second like two-second area where you have to, where you can choose between a square and an X when you're grappling someone? Well, for you, when an opponent is grappling you, 
that area is your time to break. So you need to choose either square or X, 50-50. Get it right, you'll break the move, and they will have like um, they will be stunned, and you can obviously take control of the match. If it's X, you break the move, and you take control of the match. However, if you miss a breaker, say if, so if they're going for a move, and you press square, and you f and they did a strong grapple, and you don't break the move, you won't get a chance to reverse it either. So either don't break the move and reverse it while it's doing it, or break the move and you know get a little bit of bonus. Um, they just increase the flow of the matches and stuff like that. Um, what I'm doing there is a carry to do these. You hold, you press circle to get them in the grapple position, and then you hold R1 and then you flick the right stick in a direction, and you will either pick them up in a fireman's carry, a power bomb position, a, a saddle, you know. And then you can interact with the environment, throw them over the top rope, throw them into objects like tables. It's a pretty cool feature. It's been around for a few years now, I think. So, yeah. Um, <coughs> finishers are different this year. To do a finisher, it's right trigger and X. Uh, to do a signature, it's right trigger, and tr right trigger and square. To do an alternate signature, an alternate finisher, right trigger and hold square, right trigger and hold X quite simple I like the system um, so yeah those are the very very basics the only other thing you really need to know other than that is that um, some secret features in the game they aren't really secret they're just bonus features uh, one thing one feature I'd like to mention if you are standing next to a table with a finisher stored you can light it on fire with an, op with an option of right trigger and X you'll ignite the table on fire giving you bonus damage when you put your opponent through it or of course if they put you through, you through it you get you get the damage um, you can't put an opponent through the announce table if you still got that on top so if you still got the like slip on top and you haven't um, cleared it uh, you can do a move against basically any object in the game pick them up slam it slam them against it anything like that Every move in the game is pretty much reversible. You just need to find the timings for it. A f some moves have more than one reversal opportunities, but if you miss the first one, you don't get the second one. Um, all my god moments have gone. If you know what they are, since about WWE 12, I think there's been all my god moments in the game where you use a finisher at a certain object in the game and you will put them through it, slam them against it, wipe the red off it. For example, if you leaned your opponent against the barricade in previous WWE games and used your finisher, you would you would spear them through the barricade and do big big damage. That has gone this year. The what they are still in the game. They're just not all oh my god moments anymore. So to do them, you lean your opponent against the barricade and then you perform a, either strong grapple on them right next to the barricade or you perform a finisher on them right next to the barricade. This will break the barricade and you can go backstage and everything like that. So yeah, pretty cool. Other oh my god moments from the game. Um, apron dives, they just occur with high flying superstars. They have them in the moveset now. You don't need a finisher for them. Um, the only one I'm not sure of is the um, over the top rope one to the outside. You know the the you know the outside suplex you can do. I'm not sure where that has gone. I'm not sure if you can do it still. I've tried with all the buttons and I'm just not sure. So yeah, that is going to be all for this video. Ten minutes, not very long. You know, hopefully this did help you if you want to improve your quality of life in W2K22. Um, my universe mode videos haven't got any views, so I'm not sure I'm going to continue with this game. I'm going to just play it in my free time. If you would like to see more videos, you know, please do let me know in the comments or just leave a like on the video. And if you enjoy my content or just the sound of my mumbly little British voice, you know, subscribe. Uh, it, it it's going to help me in the long run, and I'm going to I'm going to keep going with this and yeah we'll see where it goes so thank you for watching and i'll see you all later 
And just before I end the video, I'll show you really quick who won this match. It was a very, very nice match. matches in WWE history. People are going to be talking about this match for a long time coming. Talking about where they were when the title changed hands.